Hey guys, so it's been a hot minute since I have posted a video and I said I was going to post one and it still took me longer than I wanted to and if you can tell I'm actually going to be doing this while driving. So I've been doing Marco Polo, I'm a pro at this now. So anywho, um, what has been going on? So I'm trying to remember when I last posted a video and I think it was when I was in quarantine because I think I posted my actual workout video. So quarantine was over, um, let's see, when was the quarantine over? About a week and a half ago. Um, it was a uh, Friday night. I went and got tested and it came back negative. So I was free. Um, but still after, so I still did my workouts at home. Um, for the challenge, which I'll have to get to the challenge because I, um, some of you may know the results and some of you may not. So anywho, um, excuse all the bumps. I've been going through a parking lot, so there's speed bumps. So, uh, where was I? Um, so yeah, so, um, kept up with my workouts and I'm going to be honest. Um, and I'm, it's not surprising, but like I said, multiple times. I'm going to be candid on these videos um, just because I think being real is more relatable. So um, I did my workouts. However, I will say um, I wasn't pushed as much as I was and am when I actually go to the gym. So I still, like I said, still did them. But um, after all said and done, when I finally was able to come back to the gym, um, I could definitely tell, like I was more energized as far as just um, being with my class and you know around people and it's just more energizing. But um, I could definitely tell that it wasn't, although I, I was definitely sweating, it was that I started sweating a lot easier, um, if that makes sense. So I still pushed myself, it was just that it was more challenging. So. Um, and I still find that it is. Um, I have not gone back to the actual, um, my regular gym, my non-class gym, if that makes sense. So, as I mentioned before, I go to my HIT class. Um, well, I was doing that for the challenge and I, um, continued on with my membership. I actually joined for a year because I've just been really enjoying it and it's different stuff. And I definitely leave there sweating. So, and I feel like I get a workout in. So I um, have now become a full member for the next year. And um, so I became a full member the week after, actually, I guess there was one week of quarantine. Um, yeah, so the first week of quarantine was the final week of the challenge. And then my first week as a full member, I was in quarantine. So I still didn't get to go until that Saturday and that Saturday that first workout after quarantine I could definitely it's almost it was almost I mean I am out of shape come on but <laughs> uh, just comparing to myself to myself beforehand <coughs> excuse me um it definitely like I felt out of shape compared to where I was two weeks prior because if you also remember um so I could be mistaken on my timing but um so there was a week where i still went to the gym but i definitely had to take it easy because there was a weekend where okay so there was a week where i found out that i was 30 pounds away from getting rid of um, 200 pounds altogether so i got or actually at that point it was 37 pounds so i got really excited and um really started hitting up the gym and hit class so i'm going to try to refer to them differently so that way you guys know which one I'm talking about so um, it was three visits to the gym and four visits at my hit class in one week and on Saturday I did a hit class and um, that afternoon is when I went on a hike and it was a three mile hike and this was not I was not prepared for this I'll be honest the hike was um, steep hills I thought it, I like I was I wasn't going to be surprised if there were hills, but I mean, these were steep hills. And pretty much it was one big steep hill with little bitty slopes throughout to kind of 
give you a little bit of a break. Um, and after that, um, once we got to the end of it, and which was just flat, um, and the ground was pretty soft, which is weird. Um, but anyway, um, so during that last stretch is when I started noticing, excuse me, that um, like my lips were like extremely dry and I had been drinking water. I just found out that I really wasn't drinking enough, even though I thought I was. And so it kind of snuck up on me and within an hour or so, probably even less of after leaving the park, like I felt like crap and it just continued downhill after that. So um, that Sunday, um, I calculated and I could, I mean, it's not exact, but if I calculate the time that I was actually awake, um, I was maybe up for four hours within 24 hours um, because my body was just done. Um, and so um, don't know if I possibly had a stomach bug on top of that because my stepdad had just had one or if it was purely just dehydration and um, depleting my electrolytes. So that following week, so that was Sunday, so I didn't go to class Monday because I knew it, would not, it wouldn't have been a good idea. Um, it would have been even further steps backwards. So I didn't go till Wednesday that week, and um, I believe I went Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But those workouts were definitely challenging. There were things that I couldn't do because I thought I was gonna get sick to my stomach, um, which, um, the trainers of course are fantastic um, they knew that I had um, what happened over the weekend and so they were very attentive about what I was doing and making sure like they were checking on me seeing how I was doing and changing up certain moves like I couldn't do mountain climbers um, particularly that first night when I went back because I was gonna lose my lunch even though I didn't have lunch um, so yeah so there was one week that was kind of mild and then that Saturday of that week when I was finally starting to feel um, I was, I'd probably be about 90% normal that's when I found out that my um, stepdad had COVID and which meant I was exposed which meant I had to go into quarantine so then that was two weeks of again doing workouts but they weren't as just being honest I although I got a good sweat in and I felt like they were good workouts they weren't as good as if they were at the gym if that makes sense at, at, at hit class um, and then so anyway so I feel like I'm just now so this past week I was back in it however on top of all this I am in um, so I'm technically now in my finals week for school or Next Wednesday, or excuse me, next Tuesday, so the 11th is my last class um, for school, and so the past week or so, I've also been much busier catching up for the two weeks that I missed cause from being in quarantine, because it's not an online class, it's in person, and I couldn't go to class because I was in quarantine. So that was two weeks of classes that I missed, which meant pretty much I'm making up for those two weeks and preparing for the final. So, um, I've only gone to the gym, excuse me, I've only gone to my HIT class, um, well, I did, I did go three times last week, so I only missed one. It seems like it's less, and I think that's because my body still feels kind of out of it. Um, so, like, I didn't go Monday night because I need to prepare for class for Tuesday night, so I'll, I'm, I went tonight, I'm going tomorrow, and then I, I'm not going Saturday because... Um, I already have commitments. I actually have a, a doctor's appointment. And so I'll only get in two workouts this week and for my HIIT class. And then on top of that, I have yet to go back to the gym. Um, and I hate using the excuse, but honestly, I just, I haven't, I could make the time, but I've dedicated the time that I've had to class. So to be honest, I could honestly take a night or two to go to the gym and do stuff but um, this class that I'm taking um, is not that I'm worried about failing it but when I pass it 
I'm eligible for a promotion at my work. So it's just really important that I um, just stay on top of things, and I, um, especially after missing those two classes. So that's a long way of saying that I'm still not back at the gym like I was, and I'm not at the hit class I feel like like I was. Um, but I'm getting there, and I'm not letting it hold, hold me back. There was actually a couple times where I felt defeated because I had missed so much, or I felt like it was honestly too hard, or that I was not as strong, not as, um, oh, not flexible, but just my stamina was not as high. My energy wasn't as high, so... There were times I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to go tonight. Like, I just, it was, it was weird. It was the stuff that I talked about where I almost thought they're going to see, the people in my class are going to see that I'm not doing as good as I was before, so I'm not going to go, which defeats the purpose. That's the whole purpose of, for me at least, to go into the gym is to get stronger. And there's, there, there's times even bodybuilders get sick. I mean, come on. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of been... When it comes to my fitness life, that's kind of been where I'm at. And then I also, um, kind of the, not regrets, but one of the things that I realized I kind of got back into, um, so about for a week after the whole Sunday of just feeling awful, um, it wasn't until, so that was Sunday, it wasn't until Wednesday that I actually had a substantial, um, and when I say substantial, I mean probably not substantial for most people. But it was the first time I had a meal and it actually stayed down. Otherwise, from Sunday till Tuesday, all I ate was pretty much toast and crackers. And and that was a struggle because, um, and I'm not downgrading carbs, I'm not saying people can't eat carbs, but I was in that challenge and staying away from carbs. So that last week I had carbs. And I've realized that having those carbs, um, that bread and um, the toast, excuse me, the toast and crackers, that it kind of reamped my craving for that stuff. Um, and thankfully, it hasn't like gotten to potatoes and um, like pasta, but. You know, I ended up having, over the weekend, my nephews and niece spent the night, and we had pizza, and I had two slices, and, I mean, I I hadn't had, I haven't had pizza, um, I couldn't be mistaken, but I don't think I've had pizza since last, since before my surgery, so, at least 10 months ago, if not longer, and so it was the first time I had pizza, it was frozen pizza, um, I don't know what brand, but, um, anyway it wasn't like really deep dish piece or anything but I had two slices and I felt like crap afterwards and I'm like this was not worth it normally I um, I wouldn't have but it was the fact that my nephews and niece were there so I just wanted to spend time with them and I could have easily um, eaten something else that I keep for me um, but it was just I was in a chill mode. I was just like, no, I'll just, I'm not going to, I'm just going to join in. So anyway, um, so I could definitely tell the last few weeks, um, things have been a little bit more challenging and I got to kind of re-kick that habit of, um, not, not eliminating carbs a hundred percent, but I practically was, and it was no big deal because I fill up so much on protein. And that's the other thing. I realized that I haven't been eating as much protein as I was beforehand before I got sick and my energy level is not the same as when it was just um, protein excuse me I mean not just protein because I had vegetables and stuff but when it was majority protein and then also I've realized like when I don't eat protein it's kind of like Chinese food like I no matter what I eat I get hungry a lot sooner and it's and there's actually been times where I feel like I can't um, satisfy that hunger so um, it sucks to say that but at the same time I'm using it as, an, uh, as a learning experience and I want to move forward so um, yeah I'm getting back into it um, tonight was 
a good workout for sure. Um, I still don't, I'm still comparing myself to where I was before and I feel like I get worn out sooner than what I was before. Um, I can definitely tell and maybe that's, maybe we, I, I can't talk, excuse me. Maybe because we've been working arms more, it feels like, I feel like my arms, especially around my shoulders, um, tend to be done sooner than I want them to be done. Um, I push myself, but there I'm definitely like taking little two, three second breaks to like shake out my arms or whatever and kind of get back into it where, not that I never did that before, but it was, I feel like it's more often. So, um, yeah, getting back into that and getting back to where I was or feel like, to feel like where I was before and just using this as an example of, you know, things are going to happen that screw up your journey and, you know, it really is up to you if you're going to let that, those mishaps set you back even further than what they just did themselves or are you going to pick yourself up, dust yourself off and just get back into it. So, um, it's not always an easy choice by any means. Um, but I definitely encourage people, I encourage you guys that if you're, again, no matter what your fitness goal is, if it's to gain weight, to lose weight, to gain muscle, um, to become a bodybuilder, who knows? Um, there's obviously going to be struggles. In fact, um, one thing I, a lot of things that I've been watching during the past couple weeks, um, is um, like weightlifting because I'd like to I don't want to become a weightlifter by any means but I definitely want to be more comfortable doing weights especially at the gym um, we work with dumbbells at uh, my fit class but I want to be able to I wouldn't really do those at, in a gym setting um, even though I would know the moves and what to do and everything I still that is one part of the gym that intimidates me and anyway, so I was watching videos and just, I wasn't looking for them. I just found videos of people doing, and I'm going to get the names wrong, but deadlifts, and I think one is called clean and jerk or snatch and jerk or something. Anywho, look them up. You'll be able to find out just different ways of lifting the large two handed dumbbell. I don't even know if that's the proper term, but anyway, um, and I watch them and it, like, yeah, I think it's cool, but there's this part of me that really I watch them out of this kind of like watching an accident type thing where, because I've had back issues and that's a huge scare for me when they, when I watch these videos, I'm like, nope, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to be a question mark for the rest of my life. So, um, it kind of freaks me out. Now, most of these guys will wear like some type of safety belt or back brace, I guess, to help, which of course that makes sense. But still, just, it's, and I've realized that, let me back up. So just, I've been watching those videos, and one video I came across was this guy, and bless his heart, like my grandma would say, this guy was a stick. And that's, I don't mean to say that as, as a negative or anything, it's just very opposite of me, I'll put it that way. And, um... It was one of those videos where there might have been some music or if it was just silence, but instead of a narrator, it was um, captions. So it was, I don't know if it was a first person story or third person, but anyway, this, I'm going to say kid, he, I think he was in high school. Um, if I remember the story correctly, he asked a girl out and she pretty much laughed at him, um, which is sad and that sucks. Um, and he associated it with, and it may have been the, the actual reason, but at the very least, he associated it with because of his size, because he was skinny. And so, um, and I'm sure there was other reasons than, than just this one incident, but whether there was or not, doesn't matter. He decided to start lifting weights. And here this guy is, maybe, I mean, he looked like he'd be 90 pounds soaking wet if that. Um, but he's at the gym lift, doing these lifts and I will say there was part of me just like, and, and he, he's being recorded. And that's one thing that I've thought about. It's just like, would I ever, if someone was at the gym with me, a friend or anything, would I ask them to record? And 
that's kind of a challenge I'm trying to set up my up for myself is to actually do that um, because that's another intimidating thing where it's just like okay no one wants to see a big guy like myself working out in the gym in those videos they want to see the people who are fit and have muscles and do that but then here's this video of this kid who is the exact opposite of me as far as body wise and he's getting he's having someone record him the whole time and I mean, there was this part of me just like, okay, well, that's more understandable because he's at least skinny and not fat. Um, but that was, I realized, wait, this is me making excuses. And so I'm kind of going off a little tangent here, so I'm going to get back. Um, so, you know, watching his video, and I mean, the dude put on muscle, and I mean, he better be getting girls now if it's all based on looks, because he put in the work. I'm, I don't remember the time frame, but he... He stuck to it, and you know, just watching those videos, there's it had to have been times where it wasn't easy for him, and that's one thing. Just thinking about, you know, I've talked about it before, but just watching that video, it just kind of hit home even more. Like, you know, we all have our struggles. You know, we I can see someone at the gym say that's like this guy that I'm talking about, or similar, whatever the body image is, and think, oh, it's got to be so easy for them because they don't struggle with the stuff that I do and it was just a realization another time where I just realized that you know what other people struggle they may not be the same struggles but it doesn't mean they don't struggle and so I wanted to share that little tidbit with you um, that story because I found it really cool and um, it's something that like I said I haven't been back to my actual gym yet and I want to and it's just I keep thinking of that kid um, and you know he didn't let stuff stop him as far as you know he didn't fit the gym body stereotype or looks but that didn't stop him from doing him so I'm going to work on that even more because I kind of feel like that's another area that I kind of stepped back in a little bit so I wanted to share that so that is my little nugget of wisdom for the last couple weeks. Um, I'm sure there's going to be more. In fact, there was actually another topic that I wanted to talk about, but I don't have my props to uh, show you, so I am going to do that later, um, and I'll post that video. But um, back to the hit class, the challenge. So um, if you are watching this for the first time or just don't know what it was, I did a hit class challenge at Prescription Fitness in Oakville, and for six weeks, um, went to classes, whether it was three times or four times a week, because that's what my schedule allowed. They had classes during the day, but I worked during the day, so you couldn't go. So anyway, during the challenge, you got points for every class you went to, and for every weigh-in you went to. And then... The person with the most points at the end of the challenge was first place for points and then you also had the person who lost the most percentage of weight and that was the first place for that and the rules were you couldn't be first place for both so you know if John Doe got first place for most points and first place for most percentage loss he got the first place for the percentage weight loss and then the points went to the next person um, which I thought was fair. Um, and so, anywho, I did not get first place for either one. A little disappointed, but at the same time, that's not why I joined the class. I realized I during the class, though, that um, I was a little bit more competitive than I thought I would be. However, so with my points, I came in second place. And it was funny when... Uh, Sabrina, one of the trainers, told me that. Um, I was just like, dang it. I was like, and I, and I joked, and which they were great. They gave me my points for my at-home workouts because I couldn't go and do my workouts at the class because of quarantine. Um, so I was just, and I knew who was gonna, uh, who was gonna beat me. I or going in, I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna lose to someone, I know who it's gonna be, and I didn't know how close we were. And if she's watching this, you know who I'm talking about. You know I'm talking about you. And I'll tell the name here in a second, just in case. 
But, uh, so Sabrina mentioned, she's like, oh, you were so, you didn't get first place. I'm like, okay. I said, and I was like, okay, well, don't tell me. Um, I, so I made, so I was second place in points. And I was like, okay, well, I don't want to know. I told Sabrina, I was like, okay, don't tell me. I, like, or no, I said, don't tell me how close I was. Because in my mind, I'm like, I'm one point away. And so uh, her and Brandon, who, who's the other trainer and the owner, he was there. And so we were kind of talking um, as she was documenting my points and stuff. And um, I guess just doing whatever she needed to do for bookkeeping. And so as we're talking, it got the best of me. I'm like, okay, I got to know. It's like, how far away was I from getting first place? Because and I said, because if I'm one point away, I will work out in front of you guys right now. And I was eight points away, which made me feel a whole lot better because it wasn't like neck and neck. And I was beat by Stella. So Stella, if you're watching this, congratulations. If I haven't said it before, I think I did, but congratulations. And it was funny when Sabrina told me that it was Stella, right away I was just like, I knew it. I was like, I knew she was my competition. And it was funny, Brandon and Stella, or Brandon and Sabrina pretty much at the same time said, um, and Stella, if this is true, you'll have to confirm this. If it's not true, lie and say it's true. <laughs> um, but said that Stella had been saying the same thing about me, that I was her competition, which was really cool. Like, the, like after probably the first week or so, I kind of set up this mental challenge. I'm like, okay, Stella's my competition. I got to keep in step with Stella. And Stella's been going to the gym I believe for a year or more um, she has done tremendous work like awesome like her attitude is awesome she does a Sunday group thing which I have yet to partake in um, but I mean she's just a ball of encouragement so um, Stella is stinking awesome so Stella thank you for that thank you for being you and just being so encouraging to the rest of us and sharing your story um, there's times I think we need to do a video together because Stella does uh, post videos on Instagram and I think Facebook as well. So anywho, um, so I got second place for points. Now comes the weigh-in part. So weigh-in, I did not, I think if I didn't say it, I didn't get first place for that either, which was fine. Um, my main thing, the cool thing was, so I actually was able to go weigh-in Thursday as my weekly weigh-in. It was just me and Brandon, and I lost, I think it was one pound from the previous week, which I wasn't disappointed because I hadn't been, one, my diet was off because I had been sick and stuff, and two, um, I just felt like I wasn't back into it like I was, um, like I was talking about earlier, and so... I wasn't really surprised. I was just glad my numbers didn't go up. So I only lost one pound that way in. And that was Thursday. Well, the final official way in for the challenge was Saturday. So that was only two days away. And I'm like, well, crap. You know, the that next way in, it's not going to move. And it moved. And it went down three pounds. So from Thursday to Saturday, I went down three pounds. How the heck I did that, I'm going to say body or water weight or whatever. I don't care. It was down three pounds. So I was ecstatic about that. And so when it came to weight loss, I came in third place. Um, so, which I was happy about. I didn't do this for, um, although I got competitive, I didn't do it for the competition or winning first place for either one. It would have been, you know, the cherry on top, but it, that's not why I did it. And um, so just thinking about it, and I don't know, who placed third as far as points. I know who placed first and second for weight loss, which, um, oh, I'm going to forget their names. There's Dawn, who was second place, and then, oh, I am so sorry. Uh, whoever won first place, I apologize. But congratulations to you both. Um, and you guys did awesome. You know, the whole class did awesome. And But thinking about that, and a friend actually pointed this out, like I was just like, okay, well, you know, I didn't get first place on either one. That's fine. And I just thought, well, I got second and third. That was, you know, that's silver and bronze. Can't complain about that. And it was cool. I was telling my best friend about this. And he pointed out, he's just like, so you placed in both categories. And I never thought it's, 
even though thinking about silver and bronze is kind of the same thing, I never thought about it that way. It's just like, holy crap, I did place in both. That's pretty freaking awesome. So um, that was cool. So I got, yeah, so second place for the points and third place for percentage of weight loss, which, so my total weight loss for the six week challenge was 17 pounds. And there were 17 of us in the challenge, which means I lost one pound per person. <laughs> so um, it was definitely a great experience. I obviously liked the hit class because I signed up for another year. Um, I don't know if there'll be, there is kind of like, it's not a competition, but just right now they're doing a thing like um, you get an entry for every class you do up until May 15th, I believe. And then they're gonna do a drawing and I think you get a gift card or it's a, like, it's either a gift card or a certain amount off your membership for a month or whatever. Um, I'm not sure of the details, but anyway, it's just, it's kind of cool. It's just another little way to motivate you. Um, and I don't know if they're going to do another type of challenge. I'll be up for it if they do. Um, but yeah, just really enjoying it and starting to feel like I'm kind of getting back into it. But um, I still, again, like I feel, I feel like I'm not where I was a couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago. Um, but I'm not letting that hold me back. It may have slowed me down, but it didn't stop me. So um, something I feel like maybe I've said before and will probably say again and again is... Don't let that stuff stop you. So I'm gonna get going because I'm almost home. Um, this was another good lengthy video, a little over 30 minutes. So hope you guys enjoy. I will be posting later, um, later this week maybe, um, with something that I meant to talk about this time, but I forgot my little props. Another thing that I do for motivation, which is just fun. And I'll share that um, in my next video. But I hope you guys have a great evening, great day, great week, depending on when you're watching this. And I will talk to you soon. Later.